I'm gonna draw this out so it makes exact sense what the scenario is and some of the things we need to think about when we're planning out this migration. So the question from Rick is, we have an old domain with 12 users that forwards email to the new one, but we still wanna keep the old one. Can I move the old domain under our current Google Workspace account as a secondary domain and then create an alias email address using the old domain so they can keep their old email addresses? So this is a great question here and this is a question about merging or migrating email accounts or domain names. Now, we've got lots of videos on the channel on managing multiple domain names within a Google Workspace account and the different strategies about that. But this is a great question. What do you do if you have two different accounts and you wanna merge them together? I'm gonna to draw this out so it makes exact sense what the scenario is and some of the things we need to think about when we're planning out this migration. So we have two Google Workspace accounts. So let's mark out Workspace number one and we have Workspace number two. So we've got domain one under this account. So we'll call it domain one dot and over here we have domain2.com. Now, this person would like to move domain1 underneath workspace account number two, right? So we've got two separate accounts here. Now, the challenge with this is as we're moving domain1 into account number two, which is absolutely possible. Now, the challenge with that is that with domain1, when we go to add that to our second account, and we can add it as an alias, which means it's going to have all the email addresses work for each one of those accounts. What's gonna happen is when we try and add it, it's gonna say, uh-oh, you're not allowed to add this domain name because it's already attached to a Google account. So what we effectively have to do is we have to first remove it from workspace, workspace account number one. Now, the problem is we would have to delete that account for that domain to disappear. And even when you delete an account, Google will sometimes hold a domain for a week or two. So here's what my recommendation is. My recommendation would be that we set up an additional domain. So let's call that dummy domain number one, right? And we set that up under the first workspace account. Then I would recommend you switch that workspace account. So the primary domain becomes that dummy domain. Now you keep domain one there, that's fine. Domain one can stay, but you change dummy.com to the primary domain. Now then, when you have some time that you don't mind a bit of downtime, I'd probably do this on a weekend or maybe at seven or 8 p.m. at night, sometime when you're unlikely to be receiving many emails. That's the time when you go and delete domain one from that Workspace One account. And then fairly quickly, if it's not the primary domain, it should happen almost instantaneously. You can then add domain one to your second account. So that's when we add domain one to the second account, we make sure we verify it and everything in Google land should be happy. Now, if we set this up as an alias domain, what that will do is it will automatically mirror the domain two for any one of the mailboxes that exist. So we call mailboxes buckets of email and imagine you have Peter, you have Bob, you have Scott, you have Regina, and you have Claire as mailboxes. Well, if they've got a domain two email address, they're automatically gonna get the domain one alias added. And based on this situation, as it was described, each one of these are basically forwarding across. So I'm gonna assume that each one of those users already has the correct alias set up. So when domain one is added into account number two, then all of those aliases are gonna work. Okay, great question. I hope that's helped with your migration planning. Happy to help with that. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.